Thanks for staying with us. Restoring the primacy of the Nigeria police as the lead agency in internal security is a key component of the agenda of the new police chief. During a ceremony at the force headquarters where he assumed leadership of the police, Acting Inspector General of Police Usman Alkali promised to tackle insurgency and banditry in the shortest time possible. It's a promise many others before him have made. So what makes him different? Our retired Commissioner of Police, Emmanuel Ajuku, joins me on the news to discuss this. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 7. The new acting IGP is taking over in the face of security challenges, attacks on police stations, and uh, all of those. Uh, just how daunting a task do you see before the new IGP as it takes over? Well, thank you for having me. The new IG, the acting IG, Usman uh, Alkali Baba, uh, he came at the right time. Why I say right time is that he came when the water is boiling. The water of insecurity, the water of poor police morale, poor police motivation, the hot water of uh, a lot of disturbances almost all over the nation. I, I, I had a report where you said seven police stations were attacked in Imo State in a space of uh, three months. That is grievous. And any attack on the police station, on the police itself, is like declaring war on human rights, declaring war on our democracy. It means that there will be anarchy, every man to himself, and God for us all if God so wishes. So the Nigerian situation is grievous. That's why I say it came at the right time, because we need somebody who will now redeem the situation. And indeed, the acting IGP has said his priority is actually restoring the primacy of the police force as a lead policing agency in Nigeria. And he believes he cannot do it alone. He wants citizens to join force with the police. How uh, do you see people's confidence in the police restored and working with the police force to achieve this? Yes. Since his appointment, there have been discussions in many fora that have attended where people took interest on who becomes the, the number one policeman in this country. That means Nigeria are taking interest in who leads their police force, in who leads their safety and security. Nigerians are now beginning to prioritize police as the chief manager of internal security space in this country. And that gives all of us hope that Nigerians who are taking such interest will equally be interested in contributing their quota in making sure the police discharges its mandate effectively and efficiently. Our constitution requires Nigerians, every Nigerian, as a civic responsibility to assist the police to maintain law and order. When we have all this confusion, it is not only police that suffers, everybody suffers. Prisoners, convicted persons who ought to be in prison for reformation or whatever are not let loose to torment each and every one of us. The police doesn't sleep, Nigerians don't sleep. That means that all of us who don't sleep need to be awake, we need to restructure our mind, our attitude, our orientation to policing to make life safe and easy for all of us we right. must do it so it isn't just a task for the police the citizens themselves also have a contribution towards making policing an easier job for officers saddled with the responsibility mr chuku that's right so everybody has to be involved the law requires everybody to do that and anybody doing that is doing that even in his own self-interest because if it's not good with your security, you cannot do anything else. Our law says security and welfare. There has to be security before there is welfare. If you don't have security, you can't go to your job, you can't keep your money, you can't train your children, you can do virtually nothing. I mean, so Chuku, when you, must be. Mr. Chuku, from a button, you, you mentioned the issue of uh, there has to be security before there is welfare. But then there is also the place of welfare of police officers themselves because they are humans also and they are doing their jobs. That is primary. That is primary. 
The way the man's heart is his stomach. We've, we've had that several, several times by women. If you don't give somebody a living wage, if you don't accommodate somebody, you don't give him the way we talk to work, and you don't value his work, the person is demotivated. Nigerians need to prioritize first line charge, the welfare of their police. All right, Mr. Chiku, it's a great way to end their conversation. Retired Commissioner of Police, Emmanuel Ojuku, thank you for joining us on TVC News at 7. Thank you for having me.